guys, it's Mina, and today in this video I'm going to do my top 5 Dr. Seuss books. Now, a lot of you guys know I love, if you guys watch my channel, you know that I love Dr. Seuss. He's one of my favorite authors of all time. I like all the rhymes and the weird looking drawings he has in his books. They are so great. So, I'm going to do a top 5 Dr. Seuss books. And, um, I do have, I think, a few... Um, videos of me reading some of these books, and if you wish to see some of them, I will link them down below. So, then, and for those who don't, ignore it, that was my phone. For those who don't know, it is Dr. Seuss's birthday today, so I'm going, so happy birthday, Dr. Seuss, and I'm going to get started. So, number one on my list had be Green Eggs and Ham. I love this book because in this story, um, Sam I Am is trying to get this one person, I don't remember. Remember, I don't really remember the character's name, which kind of stinks. And he's trying to get him to eat green eggs and ham, and the guy refuses to eat, like, green eggs and ham. And he's, like, a weird... He looks like a dog, sort of. I'm not too sure what kind of creature he is, but he's a weird-looking dog. And I think it's funny is they made a Johnny Bravo version, sort of, of green eggs and ham. Like, Johnny Bravo is, like, like Johnny Bravo's neighbor. I think her name is Susie or Sally, I can't remember, and is trying to get him to buy cookies that she's selling for her, um, Girl Scout troop, and they're, like, have a lot of rhymes, and it shows, like, her trying to get him to eat the cookies, and, and she's like, would you eat them with the fox? Would you eat them in a box? And stuff like that. Sort of like that. It's really cute. Number two on my list, I have to be The Cat in the Hat. I like this story because it's a, probably like the first Dr. Seuss book I've ever read in my entire life, I think. And this story, and there, two kids are left at home alone, doing nothing, and they're nothing, and it's pouring rain. And the ki this cat walks into their house and tries to show them how to have fun because they don't know how to have fun. It is pretty cool. And if you wish to see the video on me reading the Dr. Seuss book, I'll have a link to it in the description box down below. Number three on my list, I have to be The Foot Book. I like this one because it shows many different feet. Feet, and it's got a lot of pretty cool rhymes. I really like it. Like it, and it shows like a weird, like looking dog thing, showing, looking at all the different feet. It's pretty cool. Number four on my list had to be the cat in the hat comes back. Now, in this version, um, these two, Conrad and Sally, I think that's what the boy's name. I'm not too sure is. I'm sure what his name is. In the, this book, um, they're, the two kids are shuffling snow while their mom is out, and the cat in the hat comes back and sneaks in and rushes into their house and, like, has fun, but ends up, like, making a mess of their house. It is pretty funny. Number five on my list would have to be the Lorax. Now, fun fact, this book was actually banned in, banned in the United States, I'm pretty sure, by the, some wood company, I'm not too sure, and it had to do with cutting down trees, and it was banned from the United States because of the wood, because this wood tree company, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure who, it, I don't, I did some research on it, and I honestly don't remember who banned the Lorax, but, um, I know it was banned for sure. Sure, which it, sure, and this is a pretty good book, and there is a movie based off it, too. Too, because it tells, it talks about the Lorax who protects the trees, and this first thing called um, the Wensler goes and chops down all the trees in order to make his fortune. Fortune, and in a, there's an interesting fact in this um, story: the um, Wensler's face or body is not seen in the entire story. All is just seen is just a bunch of green arms, and I think they're green gloves. I'm not really sure. I haven't really read the book in a long time, but I know they're really they're green gloves. Um, so, okay, so those are my top five Dr. Seuss books, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!